Wait, what happened to her previous judge? Uh, are you guys ready for Sarah Boone? Uh, oh, boy, oh, boy. January 19, 2024. Yeah, Judge Kranick. I don't, I don't, I don't recognize this judge's name. <laughs> Donna Disgustingson? Disgustingson? Donna Disgustingson? <laughs> I don't think that rolls off the tongue very well. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that has to communicate and deal with Ms. Boone over here, right? You're chopping some veggies for dinner. Let's go. I don't want you to actually chop your fingers, you know? Maybe the judge said F this after all those letters from Sarah and quit. Maybe the judge retired or maybe the judge is just too busy. I don't know. Maybe some scheduling conflict. All right. Judge Michael Kranick. Oh, man. Finally, a new judge. It's strange how the Lord works as I was in the process of trying to disqualify uh, Wooten. Oh, right. Wooten was the other previous judge. Wooten, after being my judge four years and me still incarcerated with nothing to show other than seven different attorneys, not by choice. News clips of me walking in and out of the courtroom and everything relative to my case permitted to be slathered on the global internet and in which I have not seen myself. I felt he was the ticket holder to my overly hyped, illicitly distributed misconstrued criminal case no sarah boone it was your shitty fucking body cam okay it was the body cams and how you're acting the, your conduct when you're being questioned it was just your shitty personality misconstrued criminal case and great reason i am still here again ongoing four years and seven attorneys later not by choice see my letter dated 6 23 on clerk's website i'm still waiting to properly elucidate the court you know she googled that okay you know she went on uh fucking thesaurus.com and was like okay i need a better word okay can i can i set it up to elucidate the public and the world and after whatever the dysfunction was in the attendance part of my most recent ptc pre-trial court hearing and status hearing which i'm trying to ensure my automatic attendance futuristically please see my draft motion included i am trying to have my attorney submit it on my behalf I wanted to bring to your judicial attention the following information. Hold on. I think I need to scroll to the left a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Let Robert. Let Robert. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I think it was cutting off. <laughs> she's the worst. Yeah, she's so fucking annoying, dude. Uh, it's just the tone, too. It's the fucking tone. Like, remember how we saw earlier the difference in tone between Harpootlian and Creighton Waters? When Creighton was trying to... You know, let the judge know that, like, hey, you forgot to ask this question, but he didn't accuse the judge of forgetting. He was just like, hey, I wasn't sure if you wanted to ask that question to everyone. I just want to bring it up, you know. The judge was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's right, the phone thing. Anyways. Elucidate futuristically draft motion. I wanted to bring your digital attention to the following information so you and the world are aware. Uh, it is not who I am ever. What the fuck? You and the world are aware. It is not I who are who who are ever <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that what does that say? What does that say? Who is who am ever delaying trial as wouldn't inappropriately occurs me of doing in a post past hearing, especially now you have mandated a trial day to be had in May with no further continuances, leaving less than four months to put together and complete what should and could have been done already. What happened in all the 14 years prior? Please recall my correspondence online. I mean, I think it was. <laughs> what should already be done already? I mean, your attorney asked for it to happen in May because they have some evidence and experts to deal with. Maybe she doesn't know that. I mean, oh, yeah, she wasn't there in the court, too. To date, Winston E. Hobson has been my court appointed attorney for 133 days. What a psycho. And counting. To date, Mr. Hobson has only met with me one time for a total of three hours. Wait, is she going to complain about Winston Hobson now? Oh, no. She's going to complain about this attorney, too. Oh, gosh. To date, no phone calls have been received by Mr. Hobson. And his phone does not work properly for further immediate, much-needed communication to be made between client and attorney. Oh, no. Mr. Hobson's going to get it, too. I thought they were getting along. I think things were, more, I think things were moving slowly. <laughs> Uh, she offered DP? No, not that I have heard. To date, I have mailed five letters to Mr. Hobson trying to communicate my urgent need to speak with him. 
To date, I sent one letter to the investigator in my case to contact Hobson to contact me and see if he can assist in correcting the phone problem. Also, to inquire when anyone is coming. I mean, phone problem or is Mr. Hobson just ignoring you? To date, I feel I'm not being included or heard or cared about in my case. Again, from the continued miscommunication. Again, with Mr. Hobson and time-consuming, under-discussed entries are being made on my behalf. The continuance I did not know about. The wave of appearance I did not know about. Along with other documents, and I have never sent copies of anything. Filed so I know. I keep trying to tell him about with no response, furthering the case massive dysfunction in my four-year case. I was hoping in the PTC... That is hearing on Tuesday, 11624. I could at least play catch up in the courtroom for five minutes. Oh, yeah, she was not it. She wasn't here. Uh, was she in no, she wasn't even she wasn't even in video conference either. That was Donna. Uh, I could at least play catch up in the courtroom for five minutes. So many of my attorneys have done prior, including Mr. Hobson, in one court date. I've had for a continuance of a continuance, 10 30 23. To express and empathize, emphasize. Dude, I feel like the more she's writing this, like what happened to the ni- the nice neat handwriting? I feel like she's getting more and more unhinged. We start off with like, okay, like nice handwriting, you know, and then it just gets like more and more scribbly scrabbly. <laughs> like she's just getting really pissed. Um, oh boy, Mr. Hobson. What do we got here? I was hoping I've had a continuance of a continuance to express and emphasize the need for him to commu- communicate and schedule a second very overdue meeting. I still have not heard from Mr. Hobson about our missed PTC status hearing. What's the status? To date, one out of 33, 133 days and counting attorney and his client have met to date three. Oh, she is, she's acting like the judge is like stupid. The judge can, she doesn't, she doesn't need your recaps. Okay. To date three out of the nine, 3,192 hours attorney and client have discussed partial general case information to date. I still have not seen my discovery. Oh, she has not seen her discovery yet. Maybe it's still coming in. Your Honor, when is the next status hearing, please? Especially since I, we were not at the last PTC status hearing. And especially since I'm trying to communicate with my attorney in a more than one way to fully maximize and utilize the minute amount of time allotted before time, my tr- before trial, my fair, appropriate, lawful trial. I'm still I'm wondering why, though, I've had to wait four years for something to finally happen on slash in my case, asked Judge Wooden. I wonder also, was I the oldest case on his docket? Either way, I'm still here waiting patiently and very excited to get this highly anticipated show on the road. I await your overdue and very needed judicial direction, supervision, and intervention. Thank you in advance, Judge Cranick. Welcome. Sincerely, Sarah Boone. Like, how does she not know how to write a letter without being so fucking condescending? All right, what is this? In the circuit court of the Ninth Judicial Court in for Orange County, Florida. I wonder if her attorney has not met her with her again yeah with the discovery because he's still getting it in maybe there's some delays how long has she had this new attorney for again i forgot 133 days she said um she's is she writing her own motion oh shit she wrote her own motion she even wrote her own certificate of service holy shit she wrote her own motion let's read it actually she said Motion to be included and allowed admittance to all defendants' pretrial conferences and hearings. Comes now, defendant Sarah Boone, by and through her undersigned attorney, Winston E. Thompson, respectfully requests for... But wait, her attorney didn't sign... Her attorney didn't sign this. Sarah Boone signed this. <laughs> um, she wrote the motion on the behalf of her attorney, not on behalf of herself. I don't know if you're allowed to do this. <laughs> Comes now defendant Sarah Boone by and through her undersigned attorney, Winston T. Hobson, which she did not sign, by the way, respectfully requests permittance to attend all my pretrial conferences and hearing ongoing to the conclusion of my criminal case. Um, parole, blah, blah, blah. The trial may be, the trial may hold one or more pretrial conference consider such matters as will promote a fair and expeditious trial. The defendant must be present at any pretrial conference unless the defendant presence is waived in writing or in record defendant or by the defendant's counsel with the defendant's consent. I think she copied this from a previous one, um, a previous motion that I saw. In support, the defendant alleges as follow. These pretrial conferences are for my personal individual criminal case. If professional YouTubers, news channels, court TV are given permission and allowed entry to the courtroom for viewing, and the judge is also allowing the conferences to be streamed live with all the court minutes uploaded to the internet world, and I, defendant, should be included foremost. 
I may not have regular consistent updates or communication with my court appointed attorney. And by attending all my PTCs and hearings, I will see. I thought um, I was wondering why they didn't bring her in for her previous uh, pretrial conference. Man, I should have known that she was going to throw a fit about it. Um, I will know the current status, important dates, case work being completed, changes in parties, time frames, expectations, all pertinent information. I, the defendant, have a right to know, one, to need regarding my case. All information is important, relative, and necessary to me. Dude, I wonder if Mr. Hobson is going to drop out. Because again, remember, we're only getting one side of the information. Um, she could be lying. Hi, Tam. How are you doing today? How are you? Sorry, I need to catch up with the chat really quick. Oh, God. Where are we at? Where are we at? Um, I'm, I'm, oh, okay. Rain. The Italian guy only spent one year of a 30-year sentence and now is out and will be on house arrest until he has lose the weight. He will have to return to prison once his weight normalizes. Really? I'm surprised he's not, like, transferred to, like, a medical facility or something to lose weight. Like, um, is he going to, like, what, what if he just, if, if you're on, wait, he's on house arrest? What if he just keeps eating more food so he never loses weight, right? That would be the, that would be the, the strategy right there. Get your relatives to keep sending you some pasta and shit, you know, never lose weight. Um, number three, I'm not consistently included in the certificates of service and send copies of any documents being filed in court regarding my case as requested numerous times by the defendant in writing and verbally in the courtroom, neither by the judge, the courtroom, or my attorneys. By attending the pretrial conference, I would know what documents have been filed, need to be, or will be for my case. Another way I can know what is going on in my case and being worked on. Number four, in complete overall support, it is my right by law as an individual defendant inmate to be included to any and all development made in the case. It is also my right to finally achieve success in any and every aspect possible in my case. By attending and being included in my pretrial conferences hearing in six, blah, 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 I think she already kind of said that. Um, whereas the defendant, Sarah Boone, respectfully asked the honorable court to grant my motion <laughs> to be included going forward to all defense pretrial conference and hearings by Sarah Boone. Certificate of service. Uh, the lawyer did not sign this. She really likes to write. Well, I mean, she said she wanted to be included in everything. And then, you know, to have this new attorney and she's saying that, like, he only met her with her once and she hasn't seen the discovery yet. And then she wasn't included in the pretrial conference. But again, we're taking her word for it, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think I thought I thought they were getting along. I thought they were getting along fine. I guess not. 